Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I'm Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator, guys. Okay, here's the question. To seed or not seed? <laughs> no, seedless versus seeded fruit. Do you eat those things? Do you go in the store and you see a seedless watermelon? No, you see a watermelon with seeds. Like, which one will you choose and why? So here's the deal. I believe most people will choose the seedless watermelon because they don't want to spit out the seeds. Like, we're lazy, huh? We're lazy. We don't want to spit out the seeds. But then you got to ask yourself, well, how did they get the seed out of the watermelon? It's been tampered with. It's genetically engineered. It's been tampered with, guys. So do you want to eat something that's been messed with? Or do you want to eat it as close to its original state as possible? Okay, that's principle number two. Principle number two, eat the food as close to its original state as possible, okay? And that's gonna come out of the ground with the seed, okay? That is what identifies a fruit to be a fruit. Fruits have seeds. Tomatoes are fruits, avocados are fruits, cucumbers are fruits. I know you didn't think so, but they have seeds. They are fruits. Botanically speaking, they're fruits. Nutritionally speaking, we call them vegetables, okay? So which one will you choose? The one that's been tampered with or the one that's closest to its original state as possible? I choose number two. Follow God's laws, guys, and you can't go wrong.